seeing it and I noticed it's a movement and it's spread. Right. But I don't know the origination of it. Um, just give me some information and some details on what's happening and how it's going on. There. What's going on? There. I can tell you what I know, Cal, but and, and I'm not a organizer of it, but what I saw I was coming up to DC to do uh, some interviews and try to get in touch with the administration and, and the uh, legislators and the lobbyists about how we were mismanaging our shared natural resources and how that affects the availability of shelter to 7 billion people on the planet and, why we, and how we can, and I've talked to different experts in different disciplines of engineering and other fields, um, how we can build have supply clean water and food to a global population if that's our initiative. So I want to look at the policy and, and, and build an economy based around that uh, ability and industry of providing food, water, and shelter to 7 billion people. That is, but that's global. Global. This, you know, when I first got here back in October, I did this piece of art. That's, a, that's a, pretty much says access to all 7 billion people. We all need it. It's one of our higher goals. So it made sense to me to come up here and, and talk to the people that make the, the rules why we don't do that. You know, because we can do that and it builds jobs and it, and it and it reduces the cost of our security, lessens the likelihood of an African act causing a terrorist and, and uh, just doing something crazy. So that makes sense. So I came up here to talk about that. At the same time the Occupy started over in the That was uh, about the. The uh, NDAA, when it was called the National Defense Authorization Act, and I put it. I don't, I'm not a protester. I'm a demonstrator. I wanted to demonstrate some of the technologies that we need. Seven at night until about eleven, she comes back from the peace house, which is another history, historic place. <laughs> and she, she spends the night, and I come back at seven, and then she comes back at the end of the day. And sometimes we eleven or twelve, and she'll spend the rest of the day uh, promoting her website. She's got thirty-seven different languages. You can see these, these 
rocks. This is Korean for uh, peace on earth. This is uh, Arabic for peace on earth. Uh, peace on earth for Arabic. This is Chinese for peace on earth. Peace on earth. Uh, she's got, this is her, her sign that she's got. Uh, Eisenhower quotes from uh, that how a military industrial complex is not the way for uh, a peaceful plant to exist. It just corrupts the the system. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, I, I talked That's a lot. Amazing. You got any any other questions? That's amazing. It I, is amazing. I don't have no questions. I, I had no idea what this was and. It's the original occupier. It is the original occupation, right? I, I mean, I mean, here. I mean, Eve might have been there. Or, uh, what was it? Uh, Adam and Eve were in uh, Eden. That yeah, may have been the original occupation, but uh, okay. they got kicked out, and, and and they've been trying to kick these people out for a long time. I just, I, I feel privileged and honored that I can be here to be part of that 24-hour vigil and and help get it into the National Historic Register. I think everybody, you know, I've, I've talked to one police officer that said, you know, he didn't say no, he just said good luck, I guess he meant, you know. Good luck as for what? It was a sarcastic, it was a sarcastic, he, the, 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 yeah, there's yeah. a certain people that have, that have fought this being here, mm -hmm. and I'm it's just sure. part of their job, you know, Absolutely. and, and uh, I don't blame them personally, but they, as they step back, we'll get the larger picture that it's, they are part of the 99%. And it's to their benefit that we have a peaceful planet, and their neighbors have basic minimum life requirements. It's not just that, that, that people need that; the whole planet needs it. And, it, mm -hmm. it, it. and if we have a continued climate change, and you have cities that need to move, we're not going to build them stick by stick and stone by stone. We're going to use uh, monolithic housing structures that, that can go up very quickly, become permatized and, and rigidized using local indigenous materials, and and urban planning that makes sense, energy conservation and energy production on site, and so you don't have a, right? <laughs> and, you know, so we're going to use all of those disciplines of information and, and science to address the needs of the, the planet and not the corporate interests of uh, short-term gratification. And right now we, we base our decisions primarily on fear, Madison, since Freud and, and and, and uh, his students came up and figured out how to, to get the decision and, and what we base our decisions on. We, we, we sold ourselves a, a, a derivative of, of truth and justice, and, and we're, we're bearing the cost of that now, both environmentally and socially. And it's time we recognize it and move on. Absolutely. Cool. And just as you were saying earlier, I know you said some people don't want you here. Honestly, a lot of people don't know what it is. Right. So that's what and, I'm here to do. Knowledge is power. Right on. Knowledge is power. And like again, I had no idea what it was about. If you read certain things or if you see certain things, you just think it's just a bunch of people wanting to take up space and don't have nothing else to do. Right. Right. Yeah. So if you I don't know if you YouTube or how you broadcast this, but but there's a if my, my name's Charles Holson. If you put it on YouTube or of any sort, mm -hmm. and and it'll go to other YouTubes that that people have spoken to, and, and, and the collection is not about me again. It's Absolutely. about seven billion Absolutely. people and, and about people understanding. So I appreciate you saying that, and, and it's it's important. It's it's important. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Charles. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall. Nice to meet you. Now, this will take you to her website. Mm -hmm. I've never been to her website, honestly. I don't know, but what... what